So in this tutorial, what we're going to look at is starting from scratch, all the way from the beginning, doing some JavaScript. So the reason we're picking JavaScript for our language is that we can use lots of different libraries. We can work in Replit, so if you haven't got an account already, you can either use the P5 editor, which I'll show you now, or replit.com, so I search for P5 editor, like that. You can do editing in here. This is for a drawing package we'll use later on, or use Replit. So let's make a nice new project. You can do a standard HTML, CSS, JavaScript, which we'll use for the start, and then we'll obviously, as we go along, go into more advanced things. So I'm gonna do HTML, I'm just gonna pop lesson one. So what I've got here is, this is a brand new account, so it gives me a little bit of a talk. But what's quite good about Replit as well, just skip all this stuff, is it's going to ask us a few things about how we can use some tools. What's good about Replit as well is that you can invite people to your projects, you can share them, and everything you're doing here is public, so it's quite good for sharing things. So we get our HTML page, we get a CSS file there, so we can edit the styles, and we've got script.js. So I'll do HTML things separately. Now, how we're gonna approach our um, programming is as if, instead of being more um, website-based, we're gonna do it as a piece of software because eventually we're gonna be making essentially apps and games within uh, Replit and using JavaScript. So a few couple of things we're gonna do now. So we're gonna look at how we can display things. So there's a couple of ways. We can do, for example, uh, document.write hello. And then with our run button here, what will happen is usually you'll write something there. So they go hello world hello because there's already some text in there. So if I take this out here, get rid of that, get rid of all that, so it doesn't give me that stuff, and run that now, what you'll find is in hello. I can go ahead and change that and put, you know, welcome to my site. But <clears throat> what this is doing is it's editing the HTML. Um, helps me spell welcome right as well. So if I want to put things like H1, for example, like that, you can use your basic HTML tags. Now, I don't do this very often, if I'm completely honest with you. I don't really bother because I program like application things like that. So it goes H1 there. So, because we're mainly doing games and things, because we're heading towards maybe you're doing the A level, maybe you're doing GCSE, you just want to learn another language. JavaScript is a good language to learn, so it's very, very best time. But we're going to press this little spanner to see the console. Now, what the console is, is where you're going to put any debug messages, because they can see it, your user will be able to see this in your website um, or in your app if you're um, releasing it as an app. But you'll take these out later on, it's really mainly good for debugging. So the first thing we're going to do is console.log. I'm just going to say, it's very standard, hello world. I'm just going to run that, control enter is a shortcut for that, and it should appear in this little, this little thing here, just getting rid of Grammarly, we don't need that, it says hello world. Alternatively as well, what we can do is we could also do an alert. Now an alert is <coughs> a pop-up box. So yeah, if you want to say like an error message or something, this will pop up. Now the only issue I have with alerts is that quite often if you've got an infinite loop, which we'll look at loops later on, but if you've got something that keeps running, it's going to spam your screen, which isn't very good. So what I might want to do is a very basic program that asks for someone's name. So let's see, we've got two speech banks there. Hello, what is your name? Like that. What I can then do is then do a prompt. Now you can put the text if you want. So you can put enter name. And the semicolons. I don't really care about semicolons, but technically you should have them. So I'm going to run my program here. You ask me what my name is. Say enter name. Reese. So it's in there. Now, what's kind of awkward? is that we're getting a message to enter our name here, but the prompt is coming up before we see this, which isn't great at this moment in time, but it is what it is, as far as we're concerned, for this tutorial. Now, this is the same as doing print in Python, console.write line or anything like that. Um, if we do a, a shell application, we actually use a proper command line, a prompt, you type it in this thing here. So if I did a prompt in here, you could type in there, just like normal, but we're not getting there just yet. So what I could do 
is now create a variable. Now what a variable is, is it's a way of storing data. In our case, it's going to be storing it in the browser's RAM, but when you make a program, all your variables get stored in memory, get stored in RAM. So I'm going to make a variable. I'm going to call it, so to make a variable, you put let, or you can put bar. I always use let. There is a subtle difference. We're not going to worry about it at this moment in time. We'll look at that in more detail when we do variables, but let or var is fine at this point. So let name, and I'm going to say name equals prompt, enter your name. And then I'm just going to say console.log hello, put a space in there, plus name. I'm going to run that. I'm going to ask what my name is. Online. It says hello, tech it online. And that's it. So, what you should do now is pause the video and create some programs. What I recommend you do for your program is maybe a program that asks for your name, your favorite TV program, your favorite show, whatever it is you want. It doesn't really matter. And then output that to the console, or you could output it to um, the text windows as well. So, one thing I didn't quite show you is if you don't want to do console log and you don't want to use this at all, absolutely fine. We can just change this to an alert. So that's like your message box and your prompt is one that you can type in. Exactly the same program, nothing changes. Hello, what's your name? Enter your name. Hello tech, done. Now what's also good is that we can just type this into the browser or we can press this button here and you'll see it's going to load our website for the first time, so it's a little bit slow. <clears throat> and what it should do, provided it loads in time, is it should start to ask us for those things. It's going to work exactly the same as this program, but within here. It's been a little bit slow though, but I know that I've got a fresh account and I've not run anything before, and sometimes it can be a little bit slow. So what you definitely should do is make a couple of programs, some basic input and output. If you get that done, then you can move on to our next video which will be about variables. And if you keep following the um, series, eventually we are gonna to get to the point where we are gonna make some games, do some graphics, do some server stuff, do some chats. So we're gonna make a program that does a chat log, things like that. There we go, so hello, what's your name? And it's worked. Yeah, so the first time it's always a little bit slow. Um, and yeah, if you're happy with your program, you wanna invite somebody, you can press invite here, and then you can go in and start uh, working with somebody remotely or you just might want to show somebody quite often my students will send me their programs i need some help i can go ahead and uh, help them from my computer i don't have to go see them necessarily if they're in a different part of the world different part of the school or just at home hopefully that was nice and helpful only the basics not a very long video and um, if you did enjoy that and it has helped please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video